What's up? Welcome back to another Suicide Boys video. Today, we're going to be checking out are you going to see the rose in the vase or the dust on the table? I actually had to have that pulled up because it's such a long song title. I actually ended up saying it wrong the first time. I don't know the meaning behind the song title, but hopefully the song will help us understand the title a little bit more. I did read some comments on this song and it left me kind of curious. I saw this comment that said that the song made them depressed or something. Thing. and then i read another comment saying that it was just a really like hard song anyways let's just go ahead and hop right into the song We're gonna pause out there. Wow, there was no break in between. It just automatically went straight to Ruby's verse. I didn't mention this earlier, but I also did see a lot of comments saying that uh, Scrim's verse reminded them of uh, Lonely Boy. I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. I haven't even listened to Lonely Boy. During that time of the release, I was into a whole different genre. At the time, it was just kind of hard, like shifting from one genre to like a whole different one. From the songs I did listen to, I would say that this kind of, like, yeah, it kind of reminds me of Lonely Boy. Here he talks about trauma bonding. Uh, he talks about popping pills. He says, telling myself that it's okay, knowing that's a lie, like he's already lying to himself. Then he says, waste time on an inner child, talking about himself. Motherfucker been dead since five. So from that, we know that he's felt dead in the inside since he was five years old. It is a little heartbreaking, you know? Um, then he says, seeing my dad OD at nine, like that's already a lot for a child. Reading it out loud is just, it's giving me goosebumps. But like I said, he does get personal and vulnerable with us. Um, so from his verse, we're kind of able to have an idea of how it was for him growing up. Um, things he, like things he experienced. Oh, wow, in the chorus, I keep reaching out for help. I can't tell if I'm too concerned with myself. That's, I feel like I'm just collecting dust on the shelf. I think it's time to bid farewell. I hate that. I hate farewells. I hate goodbyes. I keep reaching out for help. I can't tell if I'm too concerned with myself. I mean, that's just, I've never had anyone put it that way. That I, the whole the whole chorus itself i i like but i hate i hate for what it is if that makes sense That Ruby is also talking about his struggles, or just like all these obstacles. Um, 
like here he says i'm trying to win this war on drugs but i lost the battle by calling up the plug um kind of just him relapsing he says fogging up my brain and i'm the pain locked up in my castle fogging up my brain just not being able to think clearly um i guess i don't know just from like is it from these drugs or just like these negative thoughts like what is it you know um then he says numb the pain so i'm assuming maybe just drugs they keep tempting me to eat that apple like i don't know like i don't know what these people go through you know like i don't know i like ruby's verse i feel like it it's kind of taking me a bit to kind of break down his verse you know i feel like with scram it's like i'm just gonna tell you how i feel you know um and then ruby is kind of like like kind of dancing around it um so yeah i don't know i you get a lot from scrims verse you get a lot from the chorus and you know you get a you get a you get a bit from ruby's verse personal as this song was and just as deep as it was i feel like i can kind of relate to feel like i'm just collecting dust on the shelf um i don't know i feel like i've just kind of been thinking a little bit that way i feel like i have to re-listen to this song again but this time around i do want to jam out to it i was just so immersed in the song itself like the whole meaning behind it anyways let me know what you guys thought about this song i would love to know also let me know if you guys are going to grade a my brain is kind of like i don't know like do i really need to go and then the other half of my brain is like wait Maybe you should go to have a good time, but I don't know. I'm still thinking about it. Um, let me know if you guys are going to the Atlanta show. I'm going to go now, and I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye, guys.